all right so hi everyone it has been a while since the last post and year and welcome back now today's video is going to be brief but very educational and very useful i'm going to demonstrate to you how to create a license plate detection project using raspberry pi and why raspberry pi because you can deploy this and make something practical now one thing that you have to do is you have to clone a repository that i'm going to be showing you um, but just to demonstrate to you what we want to do is we have a database somewhere which is specifically for um for this project and this database is where we store our number plate or our license plate that we already have in our system so whenever you have another new image or another new vehicle coming in and it's registered then what we expect is we expect um this kind of feedback that the car is registered opening the barrier opening gates one and the same thing and after finishing the opening we should have gate opened now one thing that you have to notice is uh i want to navigate to my database just a moment it's in desktop it should be this project one thing you will notice is under the database in case you deregister a vehicle number plate let's say for example it says mh20e 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 um let's say for example mh20e we remove this and try to launch the same um you will notice that it will raise an error that the number plate has not been registered um as you can see uh, it's not registered and also i have provided a code for video capture you can as well use that now where do we get started first thing first navigate to this github repository harunayup license plate by tesseract by tesseract is the module that we are using for this project and then do the cloning just get the link and go to your terminal and just write git clone and then just paste the url okay after pasting the url you'll be able to download the files that i already have most importantly you have to open uh, four main files the first file is image capture this is what we are using to launch the image and then we have video capture and then we have optical character recognition and then plate extraction so may i explain to you if we are utilizing image capture as you can see we are importing certain libraries from these two custom made files that is optical character recognition and plate extraction for the plate extraction we are utilizing cv2 and matplotlib um, libraries more of cv2 is now going to be used for extracting the number plates and of course for the optical character recognition this is what we use of course as o uh, ocr okay and we are using this useful module called by tesseract which is usually embedding um, the optical character recognition inside it okay and then back to this main file we import extraction and also we import the optical character recognition and then what we are doing here is we are loading our images and then of course we want to show our image we want to show our frame and of course majorly what we are doing here is if the string detected in our frame is available then uh print that the car is registered and then print that it's opening the gate or print it's opening the gate or opening the barrier and then delay for some time of course to allow it to open you can uncomment this if you want to um, control and you know a relay or something else also remember to uh, uncomment this this one up here you must uncomment this and also uh remember to uncomment this one here and also put it low after opening it you also need to more of close it and then the other thing is i think that's all that's all for this part of the code 
So I want to simulate it. Let me run the script. So these are already stored image in the database. And as you can see, this is not registered. So what I want us to do, I want us to copy this and register it. Uh, just a moment. So, um, so I want to copy this, copy, and I want to register it. Then, okay, I can close this. After that, get back to Zoni and then run the code. As you can see, it has detected the frame and it says that the car is registered, opening the barrier, opening the gate, get opened. Now, this is for images that have already been spawned in our database. Let's assume you want to have a live feed. Live feed will still be the same, but remember what is most important is whenever you connect your camera, it's usually detected as port zero. So after putting your camera in, this is the code that you're going to use. And if you want to modify um, the control part for your barrier or for your gates, then this is where you're going to put the code. Quite straightforward. All you need to do is copy the content right here. Copy the content right here. All this thing. All this thing. And then paste it right here. Don't forget to, to do the right um, okay. right here. Right here, then you also make sure it's well aligned. Remember, Python is sensitive to spaces. Okay. This is I, and then make sure it's well aligned. Okay, that is well taken care of, and then back here is not important. We also have to define our GPL, which are right here. Okay, get back this. In fact, let's just have all this and then replace it right here. And we are going to go. So this is the code that you should be able to use in case you have a live feed. So remember, this is the most important part of it. In case, just in case you find that uh, your camera have not been detected, just list the number of cameras and see which Port is displayed here. If it's one, just replace it with one. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something. And this is open source project. Always remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. In the next video, I will be showing you how to use Yolo V8, making this model more intelligent to detect license plate and make it more interactive. Thank you so much.